Hi everyone, it's Lori from the Nutty Bookmaker and I'm here with another finished project. Um, there's no tutorial on this one, but um, I will be doing a free tutorial as I mentioned in an earlier video. And uh, the paper I will be using for that is the Stamperia, You and Me, and uh, the signature and the background set. Also, vanilla card snot. <laughs> vanilla card stock. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's morning. I'm still working on my first cup of coffee. Okay. So this is the Calbella uh, Scene Noir. The uh, Scene Noir. And it's, uh, in English, it's the Black Swan. And, uh... Just looking for, looking for, looking for something here. Oh, here we go. Okay. So the front is, um, there's acetate window here with, you know, the, the sprinkles inside there. Um, and uh, this is the, in the collection there is uh, ballerina feet and I'll show you further in the album what I'm talking about um, so you can see her slippers here and the bottom of her legs and then she's there's roses and uh, poppies all around her um, and they have they lift off the page so there's a little bit of dimension to them so this is a picture frame so you can pop a picture in here on the front of the cover okay all right and then we have ribbon on the side to tie it up and we'll open this up oh i guess i should mention the, the size of it shouldn't i okay so this is nine and a quarter by i believe it's eight yeah, eight. And the pages are seven, I think, uh, by nine. So the pages are nine by seven. Okay. So inside the front cover, we have um, a booklet here. It's got a magnetic clasp. Open it up. You can pop a picture in there. And then a uh, belly band right here. You can pop more in here, too. There's lots of room. So it just, the magnet, I put the magnet in to hold this in place so that it stayed right there. Now on the first page we have um, the violin and then the white ribbon to tie it all together. There's nothing really super fantastic about this page. Uh, just lots of room for your photos and then some pop-outs for photos and notes pocket and there's still ample room in there for more all right we'll flip it then we have a double gatefold here open it up and you have a little pocket here let me get something smaller so that I can show these all do okay so you have a place to put a photo in here on both sides and then a um, big area right here where you can pop some photos in it's magnetic closure and the side will have another folder again this one's magnetized so it closes over the belly band you can pop pictures in here <clears throat> and journal again another magnet in there keep it in place oh Okay, we'll open it first. So we open it up, and then on the inside we have a fold here where you put photos. And there's the feet that are on the front um, of the... the uh... Now the paper, the larger paper where the feet came from, didn't actually have all this. Which is, um, it had some of it, like a couple, like these two here. But not the rest of this, which would have been really great, but... It didn't have it in the larger version. Okay, and then we have one of our ballerinas here. And we have 
an envelope here. Open this up and we got a pocket with some pullouts. I just love this paper. It's so pretty. And then again our ballerina slippers. And then we have an envelope over here with a pull with a pullout. Pop the picture, do some journaling. Pop that back in there. Close that out. <clears throat> okay. Now our next page, this is our double, our fold out here. So I'm going to open this. And in here, on both sides, you can see, I'll just do one side at a time. My camera's not that big. So here we have um, a photo. We can put a photo in. And then we have, um, there's flowers down here. So they kind of overlap onto the picture. Then you can take this out if you want to or leave it in. You can pop something in under here as well. So, whoops. Well, I suppose you could. Oh, I glued that down. Oh, that was dumb. But you can journal down here. Um, and then over here we have a small flip. You can journal your notes in here. And then we have, uh, open this up, we have two areas for photos. And that goes down. And that just. And on this, this side, same thing, only in reverse. Um, but I think one is down. Yeah, this one's down here. So our frame is down here that we can remove. Then we open this up here as well. Same thing. And place our photos. And you can journal or add more up here if you wanted to. Okay. Now our next page. Again, we have the violin. We open this up. And we have our waterfall. Here. Area on the bottom. Okay. And you put photos up here, a journal. And there's a tuck over on this side. So it's got a card in it, the violin. You don't want to put too much in here because of the magnet that's sitting here. Um, so that doesn't obstruct it. But if you start stuffing lots of stuff in there, it may not close properly for you. Okay, so here we have this lovely... Uh, array of flowers and on t on top on the one side of it I put these little um, flips with the bows and you just open them up and you can pop a picture in there or put secret notes in there or what have you in here Okay, and then we'll open this up. And then in here, again, we have some flowers right here. Place to put, you can tuck a picture in here. You can put one up here if you wanted to. And then on this side, we have, again, the ballerina. This one doesn't open. It's just a mounted picture on top. And then you open this up and you have Lots of room for photos. Oh, I'm sliding out. I'm sorry. And we have lots of room for photos in here. Close that up. And then on to our last, our last two pages. So we have, this is a flip up. So she goes up like this. And you have a place to mount a photo up here. And then down here is a pocket. With some pullouts, photo mat or photo mats, not pullouts, photo mats. <laughs> okay, and um, eyes here, and then over here we have our layered pockets. So we have a couple of pullout photo mats here, um, a little flip kind of thing that you can journal in. Oh, I didn't finish adhering those down. I guess I better do that. No. That one. So this is the full, because I used an 8x8 in this as well. I used one 12x12 signature, two background, um, uh, uh, the backgrounds or the, yeah, backgrounds, um, 
set. So I'll bolt all three 12 by 12s and then I use one 8 by 8 for this album. Um, so that's what that is. And then up here, another one. And this one, just untie and you can pop photos in here and journal on the side. <clears throat> okay, and you can journal on the back as well. And I pretty much used everything that was in all the papers. So I have a few odd ends like that that are left and that's about it so that's the album this is the back and then the spine and that's it so i hope you enjoyed that and um it is available in my Etsy shop and um i'll see you again soon um i think i have two more albums um that are still half finished and the tutorial but i think i'll i want to finish i'll finish that one and then i'll do the i believe i'm going to be doing the uh to the free tutorial online okay so um yeah so i'll see you again soon take care have a great week and um see you again soon bye Want you here with me so that everything will be as good as they were last night. Oh, baby, love me like you.